Hey, Jack here with Two Brothers Adventures out on the Mogollon Rim. Going to show you how to find uh, north, south, east, and west with just a stick in the sun. First thing you need to do is you need to find a stick that's as straight as possible, but it doesn't have to be super straight. That's a little bit more accurate, but it's, this isn't that accurate anyway. So, um, I mean, it's fairly accurate. We'll show you that, but it's not, you know, it's not something you need to worry about spending all day trying to find a super straight stick. That's one reason why we got one that's a little bit curvy, just to show you that it'll still work. So anyways, what you do is you want to stick that into the ground. And I got nice hard ground here. So I'll put a few rocks around it to kind of support it here. Okay, then what you need to do, you need to find where the end of the shadow is. And you put your first rock right just touching the tip of the shadow. Now this is going to be your east mark, or I mean your west mark. The first rock that you put down is going to be your west mark. So what's going to happen is the sun's going to come this way, and your shadow's going to move along this way, and you'll come back in 15 minutes, an hour. Um, the longer you can let this move, the better off you'll be. Then you'll mark that uh, point of the shadow, and then you'll lay a stick between them, and that'll be your east and west line. So if you put a a 90 degree stick to that, that'll be your north and south line. So we're going to let this go for a few minutes and we're going to come back in probably 15 minutes, a half hour maybe, and we'll mark the other shadow and we'll show you against the compass how accurate this can be. Okay, we're back with our sun compass. It's been about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, as you can see, the shadow has moved. This is the rock where we originally had our shadow. That's always the first rock, is always the west side. I'm going to take another rock. Unless you're in the other hemisphere and then it's reversed, right? Right. Um, we're going to put our other rock over here. This is going to be the eastern side. You take a straight stick and put it between the two. So this is your east-west line. Put another stick 90 degrees to those. And that'll be your north and south line. And we'll put this compass down here. And you can see that that's pretty doggone accurate. So this is a... It's a good way if you break your compass, lose it, leave it at home, something like that, and you're not sure where you're at, you got a few minutes, you can sit down and do this. Well, the downside is this takes a while, but you know, typically you're not supposed to travel in the heat of the day anyway, so that's a good time to set this up and wait a few minutes and uh, get some shade. Yeah, and if it's your last chance, you know, or you're, you have no other options, it'll at least give you your direction. Then you can look, you know, to a point farther, as far as you can see, and walk to that point on whatever given direction you want to walk and then do this again and as you can see people will tell you that it has to be a perfectly straight stick or whatever this is not a perfectly straight stick and you saw with that compass how it still will work um, your accuracy diminishes a little bit but this isn't super accurate anyways it's sticks and rocks so you know it's only going to be you know within five or ten degrees anyhow so but at least it gives you a chance if and you see that's that's pretty doggone close so Anyway, this Jack with Two Brothers Adventure saying get out, learn some of this stuff, be familiar with it because you never know when you need this. You practice it, you do it, when it's time that you actually need to do it, you'll be comfortable to do it. You won't be trying to think, hey, I saw this once, how do I do it? And then do it wrong and get yourself in even worse trouble. So anyways, get out, try some of this stuff, learn some new things.